For today's Monday makeup lesson, I have this super easy five-step Barbie makeup look. This video was also going to include a nail tutorial. I was very kindly gifted this Barbie-inspired nail polish set by 14 Day Manny. However, my lamp broke, so I can't do the nail tutorial, but I am going to show you how to create this look using two eyeshadows that match the two polishes that came in the set. So let's get started creating this super easy eye makeup. As always, we're going to start by applying an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. This is going to give our eyeshadows something to hold on to while also helping them last longer. And I like to use a damp sponge when I'm applying my eyeshadow primer because it makes sure that I get a really even thin layer of primer all over the lid. So we're going to take our first eyeshadow and we're going to be applying this into the crease of the eye. So this is where the eyelid creases into the eye shape. You want to try and keep your eyes open, use a slightly small kind of blending brush and very softly work in this area. Now by keeping your eyes open, this is just going to make sure that the pink kind of hovers above the lid so they can be visible when the eyes are open. And you want to very slowly build this up so that you don't get too many harsh lines, but as always, finish off with a clean blending brush just to soften it out. The main depth should be right at the crease and then fading upwards. Next, I'm going to take this very Barbie-esque brush and I'm going to use the concealer side of this brush and apply a light concealer all over the lid. This is just going to sharpen up that pink. I find pinching the brush between my fingertips creates a really smooth edge so that you get more of a precise application. You basically just want to conceal the lid, stopping right at the crease. And then using a flat brush, I'm going to apply the second eyeshadow, which is a light matte pink. This is just going to be applied all over the lid, over that concealer, and the concealer created a nice grip. It kind of created a brighter base, and so that will help this light pink show up a little bit more. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Next is liner. So I don't do liner very often because my hands can be a little bit shaky due to my illness. So to create the perfect wing, I have a little trick for you. I'm going to use a bobby pin and I'm just going to paint one side of it. It's a little tricky to show on camera, but I'm painting one side of the bobby pin and then lining this up with the edge of my eye. Basically, this creates kind of a stamp that you can follow. It's great if you're not great at getting your angles or if your hands don't work quite well. Once you have your stamp on there, it just makes it easier for you to fill this in with liner. Now for that Barbie style, I went for a very thin inner corner and then it kind of kicks outwards. This gives that lifted appearance. Now this isn't my best work. I picked the wrong day to do liner because my blood pressure is on the low side today. So my hands are just a little bit shaky. Next, I applied some mascara and some lashes. Now for our final step, I'm applying some glitter to the inner corner for that Barbie sparkle. You know, in a video that I did a few weeks ago, I mentioned that I was bullied at school for wearing purple eyeshadow and that bullies just have a way of preventing us from expressing ourselves. And as one commenter said, if you wore purple eyeshadow at her school, you were told you were a goth. You were told who you were for simply wearing a particular shade of eyeshadow. Or maybe it's how you style your hair or hobbies that you liked or the music that you liked. Basically, anything that you used to express yourself meant that you were in a particular category, put you in a particular box. And I really think it's because some people, they, they kind of limit themselves and so they limit everybody else. They can't think outside of the box and so it just makes their life easier to put all the people around them into boxes. But you know what I love about Barbie is that she was everything. She was a vet and a pilot, a firefighter, a musician, a makeup artist, and her hobbies weren't limited to one thing either. She was a skater or a gamer, a cheerleader, a soccer player. And she might have come in a box, but she wasn't put in a box. And I think that's why I love the idea of Barbie, that she was all these things and she was still her. It didn't matter what she was wearing, the activity that she did or the job that she had. She was just herself. And I really like that. So that's kind of my TED talk on Barbie. I, I just really like the idea of her. And I'd love to know if you had a favorite Barbie. Mine definitely was Barbie and Ginger. It still brings back like the most amazing memories whenever I think about it. Now, I haven't actually seen the movie yet, but if you've seen it, then let me know what you think of it. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself. Don't let anybody put you in a box. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. You just be you. And I will see you in a video really soon. Oh, and also my sister created these amazing Barbie looks and I just think they're really cool. So 
if you want to, you can go and maybe spread some love to her because she worked really hard on them. She also has an illness like me. And so things are a little bit difficult at times, but I think she did an amazing job and I love it. And hopefully we'll get to see the Barbie movie together soon. So shout out to my sister. I miss you and I love you.